know, this is actually my favourite part of the whole upholstering process. And it's when I'm at this stage where I'm almost on the home straight. All I have to do now is just keep smoothing out the fabric, make sure that wadding isn't bunching up underneath, and make sure I get my staples nice and neat. And this is actually a really good example of why you need to be really gentle and take your time when you're attaching the fabric onto the frame. See how when you pull it just that fraction too tight, it just throws the whole balance out. The actual weave goes in a different direction, it pulls the wadding down and it kind of changes the shape of the chair. So if you find that happens, that's okay. Just pull out the old screwdriver, pull it out. I've always got a pair of pliers on hand. I love these pliers. They just help so much to get this stuff out. And do it again. Better. We are nearly there. How good does it look? You know, and there's still a few extra things that we have to do to complete it, of course. And the next section is to put... Oh, it's quite heavy. The bib on the back. What I'm going to do first is actually just tack it on with the staple gun. I really want to be able to make sure that my fabric gets a really nice fold on it, a very clean fold, but also that it stays in place. And to do that, I'll actually attach it with a staple and then later on I'll pull it out. Now, considering I've only got two hands, it'd be nice to have more, but I'm going to use a little clip. Now, this basically will just help the fabric stay in place so that I can get a really good join and make sure that my folds are neat and tidy as well. As you can see here, I've folded it over a couple of centimetres just so I've got that nice, neat, clean line. So now I've put my anchor staples on either side, I can really just press that down and smooth it so that we get a really good straight finish. And now I use the hot glue gun. And I've found that using a hot glue gun with a really fine nozzle helps here because all you have to do is be a bit heavy handed on the old trigger and it, it will ooze everywhere. It ruins the fabric and to be honest with you there is no amount of trim that you can put on it to, to hide the, the mistake. So prevention is better than cure in this case so just make sure you go nice and easy. starting to really come together now. We have hot glue gunned. As you can see, just the seam here. I've got my staples in place just to hold it there so that it gives the opportunity for the glue to dry and the fabric to set with the glue as well. The glue's super strong. This is going to hold and it's going to look fantastic. In a sec, I'm going to start taking out the staples and then it'll be a lovely, tidy finish. Almost there now. And it looks really good. I've actually made sure that the, um, the actual crease is so tight and really, really neat. So much so that I haven't needed to use this trim. This trim is great. It's very handy to cover a myriad of problems, but we haven't actually had any problems. So it looks so good on the sides. All I'm going to be doing now is fastening some of these great upholstery tacks just in a straight line across the top. The pliers, when you're holding them, pop the tack in the middle. It's like a, a little grip for you. And it just saves your thumbs from getting beaten. I actually like to work from the centre and then out. So I'm starting in the middle. Hold it tight. In you go. Great. I mean, remember when we first got this chair, it was in the back of the bazaar, that huge hall amongst a whole lot of dust and unloved items. And we took it, we saw the bones were good, and we were able to transform it into something really special. All it took was to strip it back and give it a fresh coat of upholstery and look at what you get. No particularly special skills that you need. Just a bit of time, a bit of elbow grease and a bit of patience, really. I think it looks amazing. I'm so pleased. In the meantime, this is going to come home with me in the back of the truck. I'm going to look after it until we can find a place in the house for it. <laughs>